Hello, LinkedIn colleagues. This is John Herrera with Muni Temps and the City Speak podcast for today. Since this is National Hispanic Heritage Month, I thought I would find an opportunity to make a nexus between my articles and Hispanic Heritage Month. So today I'm dressed in the Mexican suit called the mariachi suit. The mariachi suit is part of the traditional Mexican, American, Hispanic music that we love. And I think many people love it. Mariachi is all over the world. Thanks to the work of people like Dr. Jeff Nevin from Southwestern College, who allows me and many others who love mariachi and want to perform and, and um, know more about mariachi. So today's podcast is dedicated to Dr. Jeff Nevin for all the work he does to expand mariachi throughout the world, different countries. So today's podcast is titled, If Your Organization or Your Company Was an Orchestra or a Band or a Mariachi Group, What Instrument Would You Play? That's a question, think about it. I know a lot of you haven't played a musical instrument for a long time. I didn't play my musical instrument for some 35 years, I just picked it up about uh, six years ago, thanks to Dr. Jeff Nevin, who allows a lot of us uh, older guys, we call comeback players, to perform. But my question is, what instrument would you play in, 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 in your, in your uh, orchestra, in your band, if uh, your organization was an orchestra or a band? My wife tells me, or at least she told me today, she says uh, that a trumpet player is loud, proud, and confident, okay? <laughs> so I wasn't sure if she was being nice when she said it, but she said that a trumpet player is loud, proud, and confident, and she even said full of hot air. And she's absolutely right to play this instrument. This is a wind instrument. It requires a lot of hot air from the uh, diaphragm, from the lungs, and to play this instrument, you have to be loud and proud and confident. You don't want to play a loud note in public when your band, your orchestra is performing. So I'm talking about what instrument your, you would play in your organization, in your, in your, if your organization was an orchestra or a band. Because I want you to be confident. I want you to be proud. And at times loud, by the way, trumpet, we can play it both loud and soft. That's what comes with more experience. But nonetheless, be confident in what your instrument that you play in your organization is. I happen to play trumpet in my mariachi band with Dr. Nevin and the Mariachi Garibaldi of Southwestern College. What instrument would you play? Even if you don't really play an instrument, how would you describe yourself? There are so many instruments in a mariachi band. We have trumpet, we have guitarra, guitar, guitarron, vihuela, arpa, violin, violin, right? Orchestra has many more instruments. They have oboe, flute, and they have bassoon, and they have timpanis, and all kinds of other instruments. But in an organization or a company, there's a variety of different instruments, and each one has a different sound, a different tempo, I mean, a resonance, a different timber, and each one, when it comes together, plays beautiful music. In mariachi, this is it. This is what we play. And let me just, I'm going to take a chance here. I'm going to play a little bit for you, okay? To show you how you think this would be able to be played softly. Let's see. Excuse me. perfectly paid, played, but I'm sure you can tell. It has to be played loud, and this gets people excited. 
there's times that we play softly too, but the point is, is that, yes, of course, my musical instrument is played loud, proud, and confident. And my career, interestingly enough, the career that I chose during my 35 years working in municipal government and some private industry, my career was CFO. Now, most of you that have a CFO in your organization or your company, you think that they're loud and proud and uh, very confident, maybe too confident, right? But the point is that you have to be, just like in playing this instrument, <laughs> you have to be loud, proud, and confident. It's the same thing with a, uh, a CFO. Now, if you wanna be in human resources, you can't play loud, proud, and confident as much as a CFO. The CFO has millions or even billions of dollars under his or her responsibility. And they have to watch out for all of the shareholders. In local government, we call it stakeholders. But there's so much wealth, there's so much uh, capital that the CFO has to be responsible for. You don't want some little quiet person being a CFO any more than you want a little quiet trumpet player. <laughs> that would be not exciting. In the professional sense, the CFO would not be very uh, effective in his job or her job. So let's talk about the CFO then. The, the CFO has a very big responsibility. He has to say, no, I want money for this or that. Sometimes he has to tell the CEO, or in the case of local government, the city manager, or um, even the board of directors or the city council, the governing body. He has to say, no, that's not a good idea. No, we don't have enough money, whatever it is. And then when he does, he'll, I'll go find the money, right? Same thing with the trumpet. <laughs> has to have the confidence to be able to speak up in very important situations. And uh, playing the trumpet, as I said, you have to play it proud, loud, and confident. And that's not a bad thing. So those of you that are working in organizations where you feel like, oh, you think you're all that. I had an interim city manager that I worked for one time, and he wrote up a letter on how he didn't like the fact that I thought that the finance department was the most important department in the city organization. That was not true. Yes, it's the most important department for me as a CFO, as the finance director, right? But I know it's part of a whole organization, just like the trumpet is just one instrument. Nobody wants to hear just a trumpet play by itself. It has to be part of a group, in this case, a mariachi group. And trust me, we are not arrogant as CFOs any more than the trumpet is. We know we have to be able to play with a group. Uh, I'll play you another little sound, okay? Another little note. Mm. <laughs> for that song. So I just tell you, there's been many organizations that have come down, that have been brought down by ruthless people, by uh, corruption and so forth. And the CFO that didn't stand up, like in Enron, Adelphia, the city of Bell for city organizations, Lincoln Savings and Loans, Arthur Anderson, WorldCom, Bear Stearns, Lehman, and so forth. There has to be a strong CFO. CFOs, and any of you that are a trumpet player, kind of a, of a, of a worker, a part of the team in your organization or your uh, company, be yourself. Be what your position was designed for. In this case, this instrument was designed to be played strong and loud. There's times for softness, but don't be afraid. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Be yourself. The CFO follows the CEO, just like the trumpet player follows the band director. Dr. Jeff Nevin, what he says, I do what he says. I don't do my own thing. But the band, the group is better off because I play what the instrument is designed to do. Go out and do a good job this month with his, uh, Hispanic uh, Heritage Month. Thank you. Thanks for listening.